I just want you to know that when you're wearing all this stuff, it's a lot to undo and buckle if you're going in a porta john I'd be more than happy to help you out next time. day riding that we get and it's not raining Yay. yes and the temperature's nice it's nice out so today's ride is going to be over towards Sundance Wyoming towards Devil's Tower we're gonna be a, do a big loop a shorter ride today because we have the feather light battle buses cook out tonight as long as the weather stays like this please no more rain we need to Get to at least ride bikes while we're out here and see the beautiful state of South Dakota and a little bit of Wyoming today. Everybody's gathering up, kickstands up 1030. That's the plan. We'll see how that happens. Made a little stop at Sundance. Wyoming, which I've never been. I'm gonna go try out the Longhorn. I'm gonna try out the Longhorn Saloon for a little lunch. Sipped a little bit on a Bloody Mary, and I've got some real wonky hair going on. Oh, uh, <laughs> wonky. Okay. If you ask for bourbon, Jimmy delivers. I'm gonna get your pick. Some bookers, some Elijah. Ooh. Food. Sure. All right, you want rocks? I like the bookers too. Yeah, just this ring. Just neat. All right. Make the entrance. Come on, OB, work it. Woo! 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 Tequila, El Bandido, waiting on the Wallace gang to make their grand entrance here so I can video it for you with the Southern Custom Bikes. I think they're about ready to roll in here quickly, hopefully. Try and change his mind from leaving. He was super sure he was on the Well, I trained to grind the switch, run right on time, and I took a boy cooking down in Carolina. People down in Florida can't be still with no letters getting pick it down in Jacksonville. Gather round. Gather round, children, get down. You can get down here and be loud. You can be loud here and be proud. So you can be proud here and I'll be proud. All right. Day two of getting to actually ride. So we're out here watching the, the hill climb on these dirt bikes. Right now it's the little tykes and uh, the pros are getting ready to go. So I'll show you a little bit of that. You know, I always say that I forget to show you guys how nice 
Elkhorn Ridge RV camp is when we're out here. So while I'm walking the dog, I thought I'd kind of share with you the setup. This kind of gives you a really good idea of how big the lots are. These are the pull through sites on this side. So lots of people bring their stackers with them for Sturgis and all their toys, as you can see. But it's nice because you have full hookup, plenty of room for big rigs. And this is just one side of the park. <laughs> it is a sunny morning. Finally, I am out here at the Buffalo Chip this morning, solo. Uh, got invited to attend the Biker Bells fundraiser, which they handle uh, every year out here at the Buffalo Chip. My friend Kristen, who's a local here, donates a lot of her time to a lot of the charity events that take place here, like the Legends Ride and the Biker Bells. So it's going to be kind of fun to hang it out with some, some women that ride Harleys, uh, powerful women. I'm going to talk about women in motorsports, so I get to be a, a speaker today and enjoy the event. Pretty excited about that, but right now while they're finishing setting up, I'm just kind of checking everything out. So many people are excited. The girls are out washing bikes in their bikinis. Everybody's setting up all of their tents so we can start having a little fun today and not get rained on finally. Just... It's like a mobile, like a mobile recliner. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Are you cleaning? Oh, you changing shirts? I'm getting naked. <laughs> <laughs> I like this slingshot. This one's pretty cool. Look at them shades, Jamie. I'm impressed. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I tell you guys, I'm going to show you more of Elkhorn Ridge RV Park, but we get so busy. But I will show you the amazing pool. They also have a really cool little bar at the pool. And they got these really cool fire tables on these. I love these things. Really nice pool area. Really nice chairs. And out of all of the RV parks that we've been to so far, this definitely has the best welcome center. So I had showed you kind of like the left side of the park as you're entering. This is the whole right side. And I mean, there's just a ton more <laughs> big pull through sites. And then they've also got some back end sites for smaller rigs. This is a great spot right here when you first check in you can unhook it's just a well thought out park and then of course the event center is where we're having our little lunch and look i just noticed another statue i never noticed look it's big bear how cool is that What is this year's bike? What are the special features? Well, right now, it's, this is a 2023 Road Glide, brand new motorcycle, but I say one of the high features on it, it's gotta be the engine. 127 cubic inch engine, that's one of the first ones ever made. And T-Man Performance is making those. He donated that for this charity. I would say after that, it's gotta be the, all the components from Arlen Ness, the floorboards, the shifter pegs, all the front forks. That's all Arlen Nest stuff, and they donated that too. The seat is absolutely beautiful. That's made by La Perra in California. The wheels are incredible. Those are from RC Components, and we really like that wheel. It's got our two-in-one uh, all stainless exhaust on the bike, uh, and the awesome paint on it. Sounds audio system. Uh, Sounds is out of Daytona Beach, Florida. They make a really great audio system. Top Shop Incorporated, they make all the bags in the back, the side covers. It's got all the best money can buy on it. It really does. And, 
I drove it over here and it just run beautiful. And so we're gonna auction that baby off here shortly and try to raise a lot of money for our charities. Also, Mike Skinner, where's Mike at? We've got Mike Skinner down here at the end of the row. Mike, thanks for joining us again today. Thank you so much. It's such a wonderful cause. And uh, this piece of art they got right here, it's, it's, it's worth a fortune. And it's got the Harley Davidson colors on it. It goes for a really good charity. It's a damn honor to be here. Fantastic. And it's an honor for, you, for us to have you here with us again today. Yeah, we got a couple things going. Clint, you going to stay to hang out up here with us? Young Kyle's helmet. But I tell you what, the only thing that's missing here is a signature. And I'll personally make sure that it gets signed Whoa. for whoever buys this. There you go. All right. $42.50 now. Then $42.50. Eleven thousand, anyone? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I got it. Yeah. Last call, sixteen thousand. Yeah. yeah, I've sold it for fifteen thousand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I'm gonna get it to sign it myself. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Rusty, what a way to get it started. Oh, that was fantastic. What what happened? Happened? Walk around what happened? What happened? <laughs> How about the Rusty Wallace Vintage Rusty Revs My Engine t-shirt? Who's got a hundred bucks on this one? Yeah. Hundred dollars right back here. How about two hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars. Who's got two hundred dollars? Race ready? <laughs> 